Coons, we are once again monitoring developments from the state capitol where more information is being released about the massive cuts to the state's payroll. We have live coverage today, beginning with our chief capitol correspondent, Mark Davis, who is, as always, monitoring things at the capitol. Mark? Good afternoon, Keith. Good afternoon, everyone from the state capitol. Yes, the information was just distributed uh, to reporters and to the legislative leadership late this morning. Uh, in addition to the uh, detailed cuts in jobs that we reported to you on yesterday, we now have more details about the cuts in services. It includes everything from cutting back on the number of times state buildings get cleaned uh, to cutting back on the number of photocopiers in offices across the state. Uh, but most especially, the stuff that will affect you, as we reported first here on News 8 last Wednesday, the DMV offices in New Britain, and there was some doubt about that yesterday in some media, New Britain, Danbury, Old Saybrook, Enfield, and Putnam, they are reducing the subsidy for Metro North and also for the Shoreline East, which means there will be 10% bus fare increases, 15% Metro North increases. They also are planning to close seven of the highway rest areas. They'll eliminate Shoreline East service on the weekend, reduce bridge inspections at the DOT. We also told you earlier in the week that they were going to close the Department of Social Services Welfare Office in Middletown and one other. We now know that one other is Stamford. Also, they're going to reduce funding to several of the magnet schools and also to several of the arts and cultural events, including the New Haven Festival of Arts and Ideas, the Amistad, the Arts Council, the Mystic Aquarium. Also, closing the Waterbury Unemployment Office, eliminate the film industry training program, closing the state armories in Manchester, Norwalk, and Naugatuck, also reducing funding for the nine fire training schools across the state. This is just a sampling of some of the items uh, that are detailed in the service cutbacks in the proposal that has been given to the legislative leadership. Now, the Speaker of the House, Chris Donovan, has said that they will examine this very, very closely and try to determine which which ones are tough and too tough to stomach and will call for some sort of public hearing here at the state capitol in the next four weeks. We are expecting Governor Malloy's top advisor, Roy Occhio Grosso, to give us more details on this in a briefing in about 10 or 15 minutes. We'll bring it to you live. Live at the state capitol, Mark Davis, News 8.